and it is a Mormon owned company. I personally know a couple drivers that have been discriminated against and fired for being gay or trans. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Who disrupts my coronation? Coronation Starscream? This is bad comedy. Megatron? Is that you? Here's a hint. <laughs> Will anyone else attempt to fill his shoes? Rosie Hex, back again with another company nightmare. This time it is CR England. In this clip, Rosie, better known as the Curvy Trucker, she continues her Nightmare Trucker series on TikTok. This time she's talking about CR England. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on! CR England! For starters, CR England is actually based out of Utah and it is a Mormon owned company. I personally know a couple drivers that have been discriminated against and fired for being gay or trans. But I went and looked at the reviews. Going over to Consumer Report, this comment kind of summed up what most of the horrible reviews were saying. Bed bugs in their fucking hotels. Horrible trainers miss paychecks. They don't give a fuck about their students. It is a bad company to work for, but you're locked in a contract. A contract driving sounds really great, especially if you don't have your CDL yet, because they will pay for your schooling within that first year. But you are locked into that contract. If you leave, they will take you to court. And because you're locked in for a year, they get to way underpay you. Oh, and they're slow ass fucking trucks. Hold up. Drivers, drivers, I, I need to know something. I, I, I mean, I've been following CR England for years. I have talked to their drivers and I know that CR England is a, is a, crappy company to work for they don't have no good wages they don't have no good miles they don't have no good trainers over there and i get it but drivers i i need confirmation on this really i, I really do do cr england discriminate against the lbgq community have any drivers been fired because they are gay and or trans or are in the community i need to know drivers drivers i really need confirmation on this so if you driven or drove for cr england and if you heard stories and you can ascertain the information please let us know in the comments below because i'm she says that she knows for certain that CR England had fire drivers because of, you know, because of their gender identities. I'm not sure. I haven't heard of anything like that. Out of all my conversations that I have with these drivers and everything I know about CR England, that right there could be a stretch. They do have horrible trainers. Uh, they don't get paid well over there. The miles is just not miling over there. It is what they say what some of these drivers say about the company. And they talk, you know, gave their experiences about it. But as far as the hotel goes, though, uh, CR England don't own the hotels. It's just that they put you in crappy hotels. If you go to CR England and you opt in for their CDL training, program then yes you will probably have to sign some type of contract but what she said about uh going to court if you don't satisfy the contract i know plenty of drivers that left cr england and didn't have to go to that extreme i mean the only thing that cr england would do to you as far as you breaking the obligation for the cdl they only going to go after your credit. Taking you to court? Drivers, I really need you guys to ascertain any type of information that this young lady is saying. I really do. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, 
I know that CR England is a crappy company, but come on, man. I mean, some of the stuff that she is saying, I, I, I just find it hard to believe. Now, back in the day, back in the day when you didn't uh, complete the program, they would blacklist you from trying to get with anybody else. But that was back in the day. They don't do that now. Every And as far as the contract goes, you guys know I called CR England. And I think now you, you sign a financial agreement with an outside uh, lender for the, for, the, uh, for the CDL. So as far as CR England themselves taking you to court, mm-mm. Mm-mm. CR England is, you know, one of the companies that's not a good company to work for, especially if you're a veteran driver. But if you're a new driver coming in and you're looking for a company to pay for your CDL, then CR England will probably be one of those companies that you can pretty much look at. But just know, just know that once you get your CDL and you start working for the company, just know you're you're going to be the low man on the totem pole and you're not going to get rich quick with CR England. I'm just saying. And of course, their trucks. Of course, their trucks is slow. What mega carrier trucks isn't slow? Drivers. I I, I really I really need to know about this one because CR England it is an awful company. You know, if you're a veteran driver to drive for, but as far as a new driver that's trying to get in, get his experience and get your, you know, get your CDL if you don't have it and you can't afford it, then CR England might be the way to go. But is everything that she said in this video, do you guys agree? I, I need to know. Let me know in the comments below. And like I said before, Anybody that has any real proof of CR England uh, discriminating against the LBGQ community, definitely let us know in the comments below. Big G's got it locked, boy. Won't you love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Won't you to take it like a G? Yeah, I'm